Welcome to a new vlog. Today we'll have just a short video talking about label printers. And I'm gonna show you this uh, heat shrink type of label that you can get and it's pretty useful to label wiring. And also we're going to talk about how the manufacturers of these uh, label printers prevent you from using certain types of label cassettes in lower end printers. In my case I am using a Brother PTH 107 and this is the bottom of the range label printer. It was practically the cheapest I could find around here and of course I'm not gonna pay the high price for genuine label cassettes from Brother when I can find these cheap alternatives uh, on AliExpress and I've purchased this uh, 12 millimeter cassette tape from AliExpress. Uh, this works just fine and is much cheaper uh, it was just two dollars and 64 cents delivered as a comparison the original tape from brother is uh, 8.5 us dollars plus another five dollars in shipping here in romania so it makes sense to get the clones from aliexpress because they're much cheaper this video is sponsored by jlcpcb.com who recently upgraded their offer so you now get 24 hours turnaround time and you can choose any solder mask color for the same price of just two dollars prototyping is now faster and cheaper so it's definitely worth checking them out the only disadvantage i could find so far with the compatible tape from aliexpress is the thin cover for the adhesive backing which is harder to peel away than the original but I can live with that. I will also place some links in the description if you are interested in getting this uh, cheaper tape from AliExpress. But then I found this uh, heat shrink label tape on uh, AliExpress and ordered it right away thinking how cool it would be to be able to label wiring. However, upon receiving this I discovered my printer does not want to print on this stuff. It doesn't identify the cassette being present. And after taking a closer look it seems the printer has a couple of micro switches which are used to detect the presence of a certain cassette type. The simple label tape has only one of those holes present on the body of the cassette while the heat shrink tape has all three holes present. So that got me thinking what if brother is just trying to make you buy the more expensive printer when really the process is the same for printing on uh, these heat shrink tapes as well. So really in uh, today's video all I want to do is uh, try to get the printer working with this heat shrink cassette by putting some tape over the holes that are not supposed to be there to trick the printer to accept this cassette and we'll see how it goes from there. So here is the small piece of tape that I have placed to cover those two bottom holes. Now let's uh, install the cassette and see if this will do the job and uh, trick the printer into printing with this uh, cassette. And it really works. But why is it printing upside down? It's, it's, it's mirroring the print. I had to pause to take a closer look at how this uh, printer works to figure out why I was getting mirrored printing on the heat shrink tubing. So first let's understand how the normal paper tape works. And if we look closely, it's assembled from a thin film which comes from this part of the cassette and the paper back which comes from this side of the cassette. So the two are laminated together at this point. And this is our printer. This is the actual print head. You can see the very thin uh, tape that goes over the print head. And as the lid closes, those rollers press the tape against the print head. As you can see the print head prints on the inside of the tape which then gets assembled with the paper back and hence the default mirror printing because it's printing on the inside of that film. But since that film ends up being laminated to the paper back and we are looking through the film the mirroring actually works fine and we get the uh, good text 
while looking through the top of the label. With the tube tape, the printhead prints directly to the surface of the tube tape and there is no more uh, reverse mirroring happening, so that's why we end up with the uh, text mirrored uh, as a result. Unfortunately, I don't think there is any workaround for this issue. What we need to fix is a software option in the menu to mirror the text, but there is none for this particular model. And once again, I think they intentionally left that option out. So you have to buy the more expensive model, which automatically detects tube tapes and mirrors the image based on that. So what I would recommend before purchasing this type of uh, tube tape, Please check if your printer supports this type of tape or if at least you have the option to mirror the text from the menu option. Otherwise you'll be in the same situation having to print only mirror text on these uh, tubes and that isn't really useful. I am better off printing just normal labels and wrapping them around cables. Unfortunately no luck today with hacking the label printer. But I learned something from this and I hope this will be useful for you as well if you're wondering if you can print on these uh, heat shrink labels with just the bottom of the range label printer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video.